Hi guys, I'm Dr. Inky and welcome to another Skin Fix Hate On Challenge where, whereby we give you the most unbiased reviews about your favourite skincare product and we're reviewing three different sunscreens. Let's get on to it! Three of them are created by a company called the Metalonium or Mentor, Mentolitum, Mentolitum Company. Now, the Mentolitum Company has been producing pharmaceutical products since 1889. So, they're, they're really more than 100 years old. So, the first sunscreen that we will review today is the Skin Aqua Sunplay UV Watery Essence SPF 50 PA4+. Plus. First up, packaging-wise, it's small. Right, it's it's um it's actually quite handy. It's 50 grams, even though it's 50 grams, it looks actually pretty small. Uh, fits nicely in most of your small bags. Now, as for the smell, let's get on to it. Now, it doesn't smell too bad. All right, I would say it does smell a little bit like regular sunscreen. They probably put a little bit of perfume inside, a little bit of fragrance inside to mask that nasty sunscreen smell that most sunscreens have. Now. As you can see, it's a watery gel-like substance. It's not too thick. It's not greasy. Now, I'm not sure why they put the word essence there because it doesn't feel like an essence. Essence generally are very light product. Now, however, one of the main issues with this particular sunscreen is the content of alcohol is actually pretty high in the sunscreen. So it's not suitable for anyone with dry to regular skin. So who can actually use this? I would say someone from a combination to an oily skin type. If you're slightly of a darker skin tone and you do not like the white cast, this will be perfect for you because it has uh, SPF PA4+, so it gives you a um, good protection. However, not the complete protection because it doesn't contain the physical portion. So. On average, it will have three stars for smell, three stars for texture, four stars for price, and four stars for uh, effectiveness. Gives it a three and a half stars out of five. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The Skin Aqua Sunplay UV Watery Essence SPF 50 PA 4 Plus. Next up, we have the Skin Aqua Sunplay UV Whitening Moisture Gel. So, in the packaging, it claims that it has more intense hydration compared to its other cousins. And at the same time, it has a little bit of whitening uh, product inside, which is actually Arbutin. So in terms of packaging, it's slightly more sturdier, all right? it's slightly tougher. So um, this will actually prevent accidental uh, spillage, all right? especially from its particular cap. Now, it has a very, very small nozzle. In terms of smell, not a great smell. So I would probably give it just a two out of five. All right? It's not a great smell. So in terms of texture, so now this would be slightly more watery or I would say slightly more liquid, slightly more whitish in colour. Now as you spread it, it seems like it's a white cast but it's actually not the white cast because again, this particular sunscreen does not contain the physical portion of the sunscreen so it's purely a chemical sunscreen. Now in terms of texture, it's slightly greasier. It does not contain glycerin. However, it contains squalene and hyaluronic acid. Now, this both actually gives you a very good hydrating factor. Very good for someone with dry skin, very good for someone with normal skin type. But not great, especially if you have squalid, not great for combination to acne-prone skin. So, in terms of smell, I would just give it a regular 3 star out of 5. Texture-wise, 3 star out of 5. Price-wise, I would say it is a 4 star because it's really worth its price tag. However, effectiveness, Two star out of five. So overall, it's only three stars out of five. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a Skin Aqua UV Whitening Moisture Gel. Next up, we have the Sunplate Sport Sunscreen SPF 120. Now, it's a 120 and overkill, maybe, but this is a sport sunscreen for you to apply when you're out and about. So apparently, you can use this not only for your face, but also for your body as well. So let's get on to it and let's have a look how effective this particular sunscreen is. Now, in terms of packaging, it is an 80 gram, all right? It's quite a large one, and it has this nice yellow colored tube at the end. It gives you that spotty look. It gives you a 99.99% protection against UV radiation. So you will probably need it, especially if you're out playing sports under the sun. Let's have a look at the smell. Ah, the smell's all right. Now, in terms of the texture itself, 
right? It has this whitish tint to it. However, again, it does not contain the physical portion of the sunscreen. This is a purely chemical sunscreen. But as we apply, now this is a little bit much more thicker than the uh, previous sunscreen that we have reviewed. Not too difficult to apply, but as we spread it, it gives you this whitish smudge. Now, this is highly likely to make up for the lack of the physical sunscreen portion. So when you have this whitish smudge, it minimizes the absorption of UV rays. So if you're the type of the person that doesn't mind this whitish smudge when you're, or when you're out for your sports, you can definitely use it. But if you do mind it, then this is probably not the sunscreen for you. So when it comes to smell, it's a three out of five. When it comes to texture, it is a two out of five. I really do not like the texture and it has this whitish tint to it. And in terms of price, I will give it a four out of five. It's only 40 grams, uh, sorry, it's only 40 ringgit for an 80 gram sunscreen. And as well as for the effect effectiveness, I'll give it a maximum five out of five because this is what you need, especially when you're exposed to sun for a pretty long time. So for overall, it is three and a half stars out of five. This is a pretty good sunscreen if you're a very uh, sporty person and you really need a good sunscreen under the sun. So out of all of three of these three, which do I actually prefer? Da -da 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 -da. This one, I actually prefer the Skin Aqua Sun Play UV Watery Essence PA4 Plus. Why? Because it's non-greasy, it's perfect for all skin types, even if you're dry, normal, and the most important is combination acne prone skin. And I know a lot of you have issues looking for good sunscreen for um, combination and oily skin type. Now this gives you sufficient protection, SPF 50 with a PA4 plus, and that's most that you actually need. Uh, it doesn't have the physical portion of the sunscreen, so if you are wearing makeup foundations with the physical portion of your sunscreen with titanium dioxide or zinc oxide, that is more than sufficient. You can always apply this first and your foundation over the top. So guys, if you love this video, please comment below, share with your friends and families, and click to subscribe. And always remember to turn on the notification bell because we have new contents for you on a weekly basis uh, um, regarding skin and skincare in general. Until next time, I'm Dr. Inky from Skin Fix, the channel for you to look at if you want to know more about your skin and what skincare to use. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed.